Welcome to Swordbox. I'm glad you joined me. Let's check out the verse for today. The verse for today comes from Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 and it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Dear God, I just pray for each person that's listening today that you open our hearts and minds to what you have to say. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Joseph is a story from the Old Testament in the book of Genesis. Joseph was sold into slavery, uh, continued to be um, faithful to God. He was accused of some, doing some things he didn't do, was consequently put in prison where he stayed for almost 12, 12 or 13 years. This young man stayed in prison for a crime he didn't do, yet he continued to be faithful to God. In the end, of course, God raised him up to a position of great power, and God used him to save his people. Uh, that's just one example in the Bible of, of uh, continuing to do good and not lose heart. Uh, it's a very difficult thing to do. We all struggle with it from time to time. Uh, but I want to encourage you. Uh, the Bible says in Romans 8.18, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. All of us are going to go through trials, through testing, through, through um, correction. Some of us are going to suffer because of the consequences of what we've done. But God wants us to remain faithful to him because he is definitely going to remain faithful to us. Uh, let me uh, give you another verse. Uh, he who does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will by no means enter in. Uh, that's something that Jesus was saying. And I think it's important for us to remember that we have to have that childlike faith and keep that childlike faith. Because when, especially when we're going through trials and tribulations, we tend to get a clouded view of God. We tend to get a clouded view of life. And oftentimes we uh, get discouraged and we no longer see God as a loving, kind God. You know, we see him through our circumstances. And it's important that we keep that childlike faith and we trust in Him. Uh, the Bible says, if you, as you have received Christ Jesus, so walk in Him. Again, it's that same childlike faith that we have in God that's going to sustain us and help us to keep walking the straight and narrow. Uh, remember, God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They're higher. They're better. And even the secret things belong to God. So uh, when you're tempted to get discouraged, when you're tempted to try to figure everything out and try to understand everything, just come back to that childlike faith. Just humble yourself before God acknowledge that, you know, he's the Lord, he sees everything, he understands everything, and, you know, unfortunately we don't. And we have to trust him, especially during those, test, those tough times and those trials. Uh, you know, I'm going through plenty of things myself, so obviously I have to practice what I preach, and these are the things I'm trying to do as, uh, you know, things get cloudy and, and I don't really understand what's going on around me. That's the time I have to dig into the Word. I have to get on my knees every morning and cry out to God and just trust Him that He's going to get me through and that I know He sees the big picture and uh, I just need to keep my childlike faith in Him each day. Uh, I'm challenging you not to quit doing the good things you're doing. Uh, you will reap what you sow. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. If you're going to live to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to reap death. But if you'll, if you'll live to the Spirit, which is walking in the Spirit, you'll reap everlasting life. And God has a lot of good things in store for you in this life and in the life to come. God bless you. I hope you have a great day today, and I hope you have a great evening. I hope you have a great weekend. Remember, we're here every day. So tune in for a Bible verse and a small lesson. God bless you. Talk to you next time.